big sky, wide open spaces. Um, you are environmentally unique and definitely glamping. The uniqueness of the Explorer Camp comes from the setting. Um, you can go camping anywhere in South Africa, but camping in an area where you have Scotia, Scotia trees, where you can shower under a seven-year-old Scotia tree, a walk on the bare sand. Um, you take a five-minute walk in any direction, you'll be in a complete different setting. Well, one of my favorite sightings was uh, the Friday afternoon when the guests checked into the camp. We decided to do just a scenic walk around the camp and uh, we picked up on tracks and signs of a cheetah that was just to the south of the camp. And we followed up on the, on the tracks and the signs and we managed to track him down purely by watching a giraffe. I, I truly adore the, the oryx antelopes. They have got this unique ability to adapt and to survive harsh conditions. Um, they adapt very quickly. Their, their, their bodies have got this ability to, uh, to withstand extreme, extreme conditions. Conservation has been a big part of Sambona since the start. The whole idea of Sambona came to living with conservation as its foundation. So Sambona um, took original farmland that was um, damaged by farming and rehabilitated a lot of the land, reintroduced a lot of endemic species back to an area that was previously damaged. So for the past 15 years or so, the sole purpose of Sambona was conservation. Eco-friendly is what the camp is about. We, uh, we chose the setting because we can have the least impact in nature in the setting with the sand. We can literally break down the whole campsite within two days and there will be no human footprint left. Um, we have recycle our water. so. The ice that melts in the desert heat, we utilize for cleaning. Uh, we collect rainwater from the tent roof. We, uh, we cut away with plastic as much as we can. Um, recycling is a very, very important part for us. Um, and just that all-round uh, all respect for nature.